So if you're using Logstick, then you might have noticed that you can link to both pages and individual blocks. And this raises the question, should I make pages or just put everything into blocks with sub blocks? Now in this video, I'm going to dive into the difference between two and my personal system to help me decide where to use what. Now, if you're using Logseek and Obsidian side by side, this question becomes a bit moot because the way internal blocks are linked doesn't transfer well as I found out using Obsidian for months and going back to Logseek. As a result, you're probably better off using pages for everything. A quick recap, Logseek has pages and in those pages you have lines of text, but each line of text is a block and if that line has sublines, then they form a block as well. It's basically blocks all the way down. What's the difference between blocks and pages? And that would be a good question to ask. Let's start with what makes pages special. Simply put, pages are top level blocks in their own file and as such they get a few abilities that regular blocks lack. They are easier to search for and to add while typing simply because there are always less pages than blocks because each line you write is a block. In search that also means that pages usually show up quicker and on top. Next to that you can have multiple top level blocks in a single page where the first block is used to store any page properties you might need. Pages can also be marked as favorite for quick access and last but not least the knowledge graph is made of pages. Then we get to blocks and by this time you might be wondering if pages are so great then why would I store anything I reference in blocks? Well to start it's just easier to add information to a block. With a page I make a link, open the page, add information and then go back to where I was and as such it breaks my flow. Adding information to a block however just means I keep typing. There are other options but they require a mouse to hoover over and that's even more a workflow break. Also there's a lot of information that you might want to find but already know you are not going to search for on any regular basis. Like my morning thoughts that I add to the journal. Sure, I might reference it somewhere, but it's already on a page and that's my daily journal file. And blocks, of course, allow for outlining related data. A good way to shape things that are in my head in a structured format, like when outlining either a project or this script. Add the right properties and you can reshape that data later on, but that's for another video. Now, how do I tackle this question? And I don't have a clear split. But in effect, anything that I think is a topic that I will want to add to over time becomes a page. Think projects, people, books, movies, software applications. And then the blocks are usually used to refer to those topics in my system. Now, this usually comes to place strongest in my journal, where I constantly add data that's related to topics that I decided on earlier. See a great gift for someone? I create a block with a tag gift and linking it to the page of that person, resulting in me being able to look things up later by going to that person's page and filtering on gift. But also larger blocks come into play, say meeting notes for example. I create a block during the day, mark it with the tag meeting and add important metadata like the relevant project and who's attending, all linking to pages. And this isn't limited to meetings either. It can be emails or chat messages that I get and that I also want to add to my journal with the appropriate tags. My end result is that when I open a project page, the reference will usually show me a clear time stream of all activities related to said project. So expand that idea over everything. Good article about video editing, I add it to my journal and link to video editing. Reading a book and seeing a good quote, I add it to my journal and link back to the book. In effect, growing a database of small information that links back to pages. Pages are the foundation of my system and blocks that refer to those pages add value to said page. Pages with no references, I need to stop and think. Should you add information to it or might it have been better if you just kept it a block? And if even NASA can decide to demote Pluto, what's stopping you from bringing a page back to a block anyway? While nothing is set in stone, changing things might be harder than you want. When in doubt, I would pick a page because you can always merge a couple of pages to turn them into one big topic. Now, if you do have a block, you can always update it to point towards a fresh page so you keep your linked network towards it and don't have to worry about things breaking when you start moving things around further down the line. 
what I usually do is think about how is my future self going to walk through this data. I got a couple of Logseq videos I'm working on. For one, I'm currently on a project where I can't use web services like Todoist and Notion. As such, I need a local tool. Going to talk about the transition of my workflows to Logseq. And I spent some time trying to figure out the advanced queries and I want to make a quick getting started guide on that because it's a tricky topic. Let me know in the comments which one I should make first or be sure to subscribe so they just pop up in your feed once I get to release them. Thanks for watching. Remember, you're awesome. Keep it up.